Hi, my name is Mohamed Sakr and I'm presenting today the study that was done in the context of Project Elida where we explored the multi-stakeholder perspective on the gap between the existing realities and new requirements of online blended learning. I will be presenting you what we have found through that study. First, I will go through an introduction and then I will briefly present the methods and then the key results and then the conclusions. Online and blended learning are teaching modalities that have been popular and widespread all over the world, especially since the internet has gained an increasing trend of popularity. Applying such modalities, of course, requires specific training, specific knowledge and know-hows. <clears throat> With the emergence of COVID-19 pandemic, we started to appreciate much more than any time in history the value of online and blended learning and e-methods of delivering learning. In this regard, the existing literature did offer, of course, some clues about how to deliver such uh, learning modalities, but not, of course, as a complete solution of everything. What could be interesting is to understand the students, teachers and administrators' perspectives about how blended and online learning have worked during COVID and what could be improved. Within the ELIDA project, we had a survey that explored the opinions of such stakeholders in four countries, Spain, Finland, Serbia and Bulgaria. Our aim was to identify the models of online learning through online surveys that have worked and what could be improved. <clears throat> I would like to remind you that this is an exploratory study and all of the results presented here are preliminary since our sample was not that very large enough to make conclusions or generalizations. Our survey contained four items or four important items regarding what have, has worked during the lockdowns in online teaching, what did not work during online teaching and should be improved, what pedagogical approaches students preferred and are in and are there any internal regulations or rules or method that could be beneficial? The first stakeholder of our methods were the students and students had a clear preference for active learning methods such as blended based learning, problem based learning and collaborative learning. In fact, students have <clears throat> almost unanimously agreed that working in groups or in pairs are, is preferred than traditional learning individually. Students also have said that they prefer multimedia and simulation and, and multimedia rich learning materials. Also students said that they like active methods in teaching and learning. When it comes to teachers, teachers feel confident delivering online learning, although not most or all of them have received proper training on that. Teachers use a mix of online tools and methods, most of them are synchronous like Zoom and Teams and did not use that, that much of a flipped classrooms or uh, pre-recorded videos. Also teachers have offered support through many methods, most of them is asynchronous and rarely or least likely face-to-face -face methods. Administrators had the big picture and their opinion overlap mostly with the teachers. However, since they have the big picture and they are in the decision-making uh, process, they outlined the importance of teaching, offering resources, creating local or uh, homemade curricula and also the methods to support online teaching and learning. The discussion, of course, the, teach, the, the, the opinions of the teachers, students and administrators overlapped in many situations, but still there are obvious, uh, interesting points that we should or we can uh, see here. First of all, students' preference for active methodologies somehow collides with the teacher's time, resources, trainings, and possibilities of delivering that online. Also, teach, students have said or voiced their preference for face-to-face -face, uh, getting support or help or asking the teachers. However, that was not the case when the teachers was asked. Administrators also were aware of the challenges of the practical subjects. It's not always the case that Zoom can deliver everything. We have laboratories, we have practical uh, a skill that students have to acquire and these are not been easy to deliver using such methods and possibly the future will give us more opportunity to prepare for that. Overall, the exploration of opinions regarding what happened during COVID-19 and online learning paints a picture of students who want more active participatory learning with timely feedback that can be complemented or supported by blended learning. In another words, students wanted a continuation of the pre-COVID-19 uh, style of learning. However, existing resources and the emergency of time did not give the enough resources or fell short in providing these active learning opportunities. Thank you so much.